And verse 12. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were leopards, which stood afar off. The next verse. Which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. The next verse. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass, as they went, they were cleans. They were cleans as they went. Just by instruction. He didn't lay hands, he didn't pray. Just go and show yourself to the priest. And as they went, they were cleans. The next verse. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he returned back with a loud voice, glorifying God. Returned back, glorifying God. The next verse. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. A Samaritan who is an unbeliever. In means of Christians, an unbeliever came to thank God. In the means of believers, who God has blessed, is only one who is an unbeliever who remember that his life was not like this before. So he said, let me go back and thank God. Thank the man who has beautified my life. The next verse. Who has beautified my life. And Jesus also said, where they not ten, please, but where are the nine? Where you not ten, where are the nine? The next verse. They are not found. They are not found that return to give glory to God save this stranger look at how Jesus qualified save this stranger how can a stranger how can a stranger know things more than the believer the reason one of the reasons is that they are too familiar we feel that we are too familiar with God he's our master we serve him so he knows ev- we know everything about him so we can whatever we give to him he takes like God is like a beggar. We see God as a beggar. That whatever we give to him, he take. Because we are too familiar. The next verse and the last verse. And he said unto him, Arise, 
Can we read together? Go that way. Thy faith or what? Thy faith what? Arise. Go thy way for thy faith has made the whole. I am preaching on a topic I, I title Returning Back with Thanksgiving. Returning back with Thanksgiving. Who are those who are ungrateful? People who thought it is their right to be alive. Church, it is never your right to be alive. It is by privilege for you to be alive. Who are those who are ungrateful? People who talk that it, they make the wet by their power. They make the wet by their wisdom. They make the wet by their senses. People who thought, my name is God that they can live. These are the people who I name and ungrateful people. The Bible said, tell people, God address their life. Tell people, God rewrite their history. Ten good men, God change their status. The Bible says, nine went away because I thought they are familiar with God or they were familiar with God. After all, a church in my yo, a pastor, who call a pastor on one little man or little man and the big one, man. A church in you, a vine up prayer tag, a vine up prayer for brother. That is where you miss it when you are too familiar with God. Instead of the blessing, you end up getting cursed. When you are too familiar with God, instead of increase, you said you end up going down. The people of Israel in the land of Egypt, they were familiar with God. That was why they could not enter the land flow with Micah honey. The Bible says, Ten men, God blesses, God change their story. Nine went away, but one acknowledged and said, My life wasn't like this. My life was not so. I was not working like my man before. I was not doing things like my man before. He said, but somebody touch my life somebody rewrite my instinct let me go back and appreciate this person let me go back and tell the person thank you let me go back and tell the person i am grateful because our women say or when i will away why he came before the master the bible says he bowed down he stretched on the ground and he prostrated and he said master i have come to thank you for who i am i have come to thank you for beautifying my life i have come to thank you for changing my story. I have come to thank you. By now, before now, I could not stay with people. But now, I can stay with people. He said, because you have touched my life. And the master asked, were you not ten people? Were you not ten? I remember, I can remember your face. You were ten that came to me. Where are the other nine? Why is it that it's only you that came back? Why is it that it's only you that remember? Where are the other nine? He said, oh God, I know not. But I have all understand my own. I care for my own. I care for my purple. And the master said, Thy faith has made the whole. In another word, affliction will not arise a second time. In another word, this attack will not return back again. In another word, every attack that wants to attack you again is blocked. And I decree over somebody here. When you learn how to thank God, may the spirit of gratitude enter into you. Amen. I said, May the spirit of gratitude enter into you. Amen. Amen. There are people, sir, they thought that it is their right to see the next morning. They do this on their own. When you talk about God, they scandal it, they spoil it, they talk bad, bad things about the things of God. And it's God that sustains your life. Can I talk to you? God is the one that on the light, the candlestick that is keeping you alive. When God decides to allow the enemy to quench the light, you are all gone. Before now, nobody knows you. It is God that purifies you. So why don't you give glory to God? Why don't you give thanks to him? If you are here, wave your hand to see Jesus and say, Lord, I thank you. From, the, from, the, from your sincere heart, wave your hand to say, Lord, I thank you. From the depth of your heart, say, Lord, I thank you. Church, get it clear. There are people who don't know what to say thank you. They are inhuman. Believers. And not believers. When we are who say, "I don't know where any other people are here," I don't know how many are working on that. There are people like that, ungrateful of people, ungrateful people, ungrateful people. Thanksgiving is an expression of gratitude. Expression of gratitude. La, well, the cannot do. Ah, thank you. I come to appreciate you for that you have done. We are. Yeah, 
Eh, yeah, you want to say, yeah, yeah, pay. But the car when you do where we're here, we say, then you, you ginger the special spirit to do more for you. Two of us. Two of us. Then you are not coming. Say, the kids, hi, thank you, thank you, daddy. I'll come see you. The next three months, you are not there. If he's coming again and see you fighting with another man, he will pretend he was sitting to you. He died on the first of the sign and get another person. He can even get the wall and pass just to escape you. Two of us. Learn how to say, thank you. Sit down. Learn how to say, thank you. There are people, sir. You went, you go extra late to help. You go and sell it to bring out of the dungeon. But today, they are the one turning against you, fighting against you. When God don't do them, you have come to God, oh Lord, oh Lord, do this one for me. I will come and thank you. I will come and shout 14 hallelujah, 17 hallelujah, 2 hallelujah to the glory of God. When God don't do them, you will keep quiet. They, I don't want me pastor, no. I don't want me mommy, no. I don't want me church member, no. You church member, no, now they come, they beg me money. So make a keep on. Yeah, hey, church member, why? And yeah, do I? Do I tell him I'm going to borrow? He go. He said, "Go, go, 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 after all you are you you have no power to ask him or judge him why did he not answer you i will see here i will see here there are people you have helped out of the job they are they, they are fighting you because of that <laughs> Thanksgiving is an expression to, of gratitude, especially to God. Thanksgiving is to glorify God as an act of worship. Giving thanks in all things as part of God's provision. Giving thanks in all things as part of God's provision. Where are you there now? If you think say now your power is very share. I want to make you challenge God. Tell God, say, now your power. Now you tell this where you did now. So that make you leave you for one hour. So that one hour, what you will face, then you, when you come back, if you have grace to return to his presence, then you will now have eloquent testimony to hear. Am I talking now? There are people, can I talk to you? So wherever you are, appreciate God because it is God that get, that get you to this level. Some of you may say, why will I tell God? Why will I tell God? We have no money to pay us when. Okay. I want you to know there are people who are sleeping under the bridge. You are telling God, why will I tell God? Other people are dedicating their children. They are dedicating their house. They are dedicating everything. Why will I get Where is my child? I want you to know also, there are people who don't have anybody around them. And they are even cut up. And they, most of them are used for ritual. I don't want to know you now. I want to do you know Saloba. Who called you now? The moment. Learn how to appreciate when you wake up in your bed. Learn how to need them and say, oh, Thank you for another beautiful day. Because it is what you call the day that they will give to you. Thank God for another blessed day. Because it is what the way you address the day that they will give to you. Job 38 and verse 12. And has that commanded the money since the day that I caused the day spring to know his place? Have you ever talked to your day? Verse 13, quickly. Verse 13. That he might take hold of his ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. In another word, Job, come here. You are complaining. Have you ever speak to your day? Have you ever commanded your day? What do you want your day to give to you? I don't wear a hairy mouth here or wear a tie. So when you get up in your morning, address your day. So let your day complete with your let your day complete with your destiny. What you want your day to give to you, that is what give to you. Yes, you hear me say, I hear you. Yes, what you want your day to give, that is what you give. Why we know no then nobody here bitterness and sorrow. It will also give to you. Even no one call or no. Even no one knows a lot. 
appreciate God for where you are. I don't have children. Why would I thank God? Eh? Why would I thank God, brother? There are people who use thanksgiving to turn the hand of God around. What God said he will not do, he will do it. Second Samuel 24, when you read down, the Bible says, after God has spoken to David and said, choose this, this day, affliction, death, and your enemy pursue you. When you the, when the choose affliction, and the Bible says 80,000 people died in the day. When he came to Aruna, Aruna asked him, come home. Come, God went to him. Say, I know the mind of God. Say, the mind of God is sacrifice. Thank him, appreciate him, do something for him. He will change. And he went to buy Aruna's land, part of land. I gave to God. I said, God, this land I am giving not to you. I am giving you this land. This is where I will build your temple. That day, God reversed every death that's supposed to happen that will kill the people for the next two days. The first day, eighty people died. But before the second day. And David was able to turn the mind of God by giving me sacrifice. I said, God, this is what I have given up to you as a thanks for what you have done. And God stopped and ceased the killing of Israel. God stopped and ceased the killing of Israel. Why would I thank God? Uh -huh. All my men, they do plates. All my men, they bought galo. Uh -huh. I didn't read Bedou Fly here. I know Cheshire and all day, brother. You didn't read Bedou Fly here and day. They are people, husband and wife and eight children. They are living in one room. Two of us. Then you, God, gave three by you flat. You are complaining. I think that I think that is the spirit of ungratefulness. You are complaining. Three by you flat. And I'm a made I want you to know there are people, husband, wife, and eight children. They are living in one room. They are dragging. Then where you are, you are still telling God that God has not done well. Where you are, you are still telling God that God has not done well. You are saying, no, 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 be telling me to do flat. My people, night day, but gallo. My people, night day, do blood. Brother, 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 sister, where is that thought coming from? Where is that thought coming from? Some of them will say, ah, I will say that mid day, but gallo. Don't be telling me to do flat. Those who are in one room, I pray God, if you can give me two beds, two flat, so that I and my wife can stay in one room and my children will manage one room, I will be grateful. But you will God give three beds, two flat, you will complain. Some of you say, ah, now let boys, boys, now God just give me, God not give me guests. Some of you say, now let guests care, God just give me, God not give me boys. Read Genesis chapter 1. And the Bible says, I think the last verse, he said, God say, God create everything. And the Bible says everything he created was good and was it was not Pastor God's time that created it. It was not Pastor God's time that manifested the children. It was God that created it. So whatever he gave to you, he know that is the best for you. So he know that that is the best for you. Whatever he gave to you, that is the best. That is the best. God, I wish you give me three children, uh, two boys and two girls now for your balance. And you have already six children. Oh, guess. The other one has six children. Oh, boys. Do you think God is a fool? Do you think God didn't arrange it well? Let us learn to be thankful unto this God so that he can direct our path. All these girls that are six, would they be buried in this life? Would they have a husband? All these boys that assist, would they have a wife? Don't you think that God is smarter than you? Always let to say, God, let your will. Am I talking now? Some of you are there in that particular position. You were not there because you have power or wisdom. You were not there because you were smart. You were not there because you have influence. God by himself lifted you and bring you to that position. Why? Because he wants to use you to lift up people who are down around you. He wants to use you to bless people who are down. Can I talk to you? God make you a ladder so that those around you can also climb with through you. If you hear me, say I hear you. So don't think that you, you acquire that level or you get that level by, by smartness. 
And I mean go school pass. Not be school they talk about now. Now the hand of God. Ability to turn the hand of God. So that he can do what he wants to do in your life. Number three. Thanksgiving is the art of giving thanks. Grateful. Acknowledgement of benefit or favor especially to God. Give it thanks. Acknowledging what he has done. Acknowledging how he has lifted you up. Acknowledging where he brought you from. When you listen to people and what comes from their mouth, you will miss the track that God has given it for you to run. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, I thank you for where I am. Say, Father, I thank you for the life of my children. If you believe, shout them three times. Number four. Thanksgiving is the act of saying or showing that you are grateful. The act of saying or showing that you are grateful. When you get to kneel down and look at your life, if God will give you grace, think back when you were a youth, the kind of life you live, how you got married, and how God has blessed you. So the reason why God kept you, you will not die until you fulfill it. If your amen is loud, you are the person I'm talking to. Right now. Sir, God kept you for a reason. So don't disappoint God. There are people who are tied to your grace that you need to rescue. Did you hear me? Okay, if it, the money you got is for your wife and your children alone and other, there is no need for you to stress in excess. Am I talking now? God has blessed you with the house. God has blessed you with husband, children, and you have God, you have business doing. There's no need to struggle now. There are people that will come your way that are not your relative. They are not your parents. They are not your, uh, uh, your wife's parents. They are, not, if I, they are not related to anybody around you. But they need help. And God says, my son, my daughter, help her. Help him. So, so the blessings of others is attached to your blessings. So understand, there are people you must lift up their hands. Are you, are you still here? The gift God gave to you, not for only you. The gift God gave to you, He wants you to use it to bless people around. So that is the reason why some people, when they sing, everybody are blessed. Why should I thank God? Number one, thank God because of His good health in your life. There is a saying that says health is wealth. Thank God that you are not sick. If you see people who are sick, if you are opportune to meet people who are sick in the hospital, you will confess Jesus Christ. So if there is no food for you, you will learn how to thank God. 